Today I want to share with you how you can embed videos from YouTube in your website without showing the title and the description and everything and also without showing at the end the recommended videos to kind of keep people just to look at this video you want to, uh, them to see but without having them at the end to jump off to any other place. To do this we have to take a couple steps especially because nowadays responsive video is also very important to kind of keep the video in the viewport and just have it the size it actually is supposed to be. So let's dive right into the screen share and I will show you how I do this. First, we see a normal video on YouTube. This in this case, it is a video from me where I talk about uh, stabilizing your shots and uh, adding some movement. Now, if you want to embed this video on your website, you can go either just copy the URL right here and then go to embed responsively. This page actually helps you to embed the video in a responsive way on your website because if you just normally embed it on a website, it looks weird. Let's try this. So if we go to the video back, and click the share button and then we click on embed for example then we get this code this code here is an essentially a so-called iframe and if i put this on the website in this kind of area here you see that the sides are cut off this is because the video is actually set to be in 1280 width and a height of 720. But this frame here does not have these dimensions. So it actually has the height of 720, but the width of 1280 is too much for this to actually show. So if I would reduce the height here, it doesn't change. If I would reduce the width, it doesn't change. So this is not the way it is supposed to be. Now, if I have this video put in here into the embedder responsively, I can embed the video, have it like this, copy this code here, and then I can put this code into this. And now what you will notice is that the code makes it responsive. So if I remove the uh, res uh, resize the frame, it actually resizes the video as well. So it actually works on mobile screens as well. So it's responsive now, but it still shows the title and it would also show at the end these recommended videos. To remove these, it's actually a little bit of more work. So what we have to do is we go to the embed action here. Then we have the uh, like this um, check mark for show suggested videos in the uh, end of the video and also show video titles and player actions. These two check boxes I would disable and maybe enable the in a private enhanced mode. This is just a nicer way to handling customer data. Show player controls, I would leave that on so people can actually jump through the video. Now what we can do is copy this and just copy and paste and then go back to this kind of website uh, embedder responsively and search for this area right here. And you replace this with the just copied code because now the iframe actually has the code for uh, not having these relationship videos at the end and also not showing the info. So if I copy and paste this code here back into the website and replace it, what now happens is we don't have this text up here the share buttons up there and also at the end of the video there would not be any recommended videos. To make this even easier there's a plugin for WordPress in, in particular because this tip here works with any HTML code box. So it works with WordPress, it works with just standard HTML but it would also work on other platforms. But if you're specifically using WordPress for your website and you want to embed your videos responsively and much more simpler than this, I would highly recommend you to check out the Advanced Responsive Video Embedder plugin for WordPress. There's a free version and then there's also a upgraded version, but the free version gives you the uh, capabilities of having responsive video and also being able to remove the titles and the um, recommended videos at the end. So these kind of functionalities are just baked into the plugin so you can just embed the videos very easily and there are tutorials which are specifically to this plugin and that you can check out. I will have a link to this WordPress plugin in the description below. I will also have a link to the Embedder Responsively page so you can use this with other uh, websites as well. All, the, uh, all of those links will be in the description below. If this video was helpful for you, please leave it a like, leave me any questions in the description below, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next video. Make it your life and have an amazing day. Bye.